Hello there Star Wars fans and welcome back to another RebelScum.com video review. Today we are reviewing the new Black Series Phase 4 Ahsoka from the new Ahsoka series. Now, this is a new release of a previously released figure. This The figure is not new. This is the same figure that was released in the Phase 4 The Mandalorian packaging based off of her Season 2 look in the Mandalorian series. Now, she's wearing a similar outfit here. She does wear this outfit in the Ahsoka series at least once. And I believe this is also the same outfit she's wearing in Book of Boba Fett. So, you know, in Star Wars fashion, she doesn't change clothes much, except for later on in the Ahsoka series where she's changing clothes all the time. Because you, you either don't change your clothes at all in Star Wars or you change your clothes a lot. Or I guess in this case, both. Anyway... Here is the new Ahsoka figure. This is an awesome release of an already awesome figure. Don't get me wrong. This is not a bad re-release. This is actually a very good re-release because there are some fans, believe it or not, who did miss out on the face for the Mandalorian release of Ahsoka. This is an awesome Ahsoka figure. And a lot of fans wanted this figure. And seeing her in the phase four Ahsoka packaging is really nice. And in my opinion, way better than seeing her in the phase four of the Mandalorian packaging. I mean, I'm glad we got her. Well, we did because we needed a live action Ahsoka figure and we got one. But seeing her in this packaging is just, I don't know, so much better to me because having a main character in that main character series packaging, especially as number one, which is awesome, is just so satisfying, I think. Anyway. Here she is in the packaging. She's got the same two lightsabers she came with in the other packaging. There's her side banner artwork there. On the back, you've got some words and things. And not only do we have the return of Bubbles with this Ahsoka figure here, of course. I mean, yes, we've had some other Bubbled figures releases in between Windowless and Bubbles again. But this is the true return of it because this is a fresh start with a fresh new series going forward and all of them will have bubbles from here on out or at least they're supposed to so that's nice but also the return of the banner art being on the back of the packaging as well because when they switched to windowless packaging not only did we have an image of the figure here on the front in place of a bubble we also had that image on the back so i'm glad we got the return of the banner art on the back because i like that more than looking at a toys packaging and seeing a picture of the toy on the front and then the same picture of the toy on the back. I I don't need to look at the same picture twice. Granted, I'm a loose collector and it it's not that big of a deal because I don't really keep my boxes. But for those who are sealed collectors, I can't imagine that you love looking at the same picture in two different spots when maybe you could look at a screen grab or, you know, the banner artwork. I mean, yeah, we're getting two pictures in the same spot. Yes, but... I feel like this is better than just looking at a toy picture when you can just go, oh, hey, look, the action figure. You know, maybe it's just me. I don't know. But I would like to see what you would like to see in place of either the banner artwork or a toy picture on the back. Like I said, maybe a screen grab from the series or a series or just a picture of Rosario in the Ahsoka costume. And the same goes for all the other characters as well, by the way. Just let me know your thoughts on that as well, because I would like to know, genuinely. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the packaging. And here is Ahsoka out of the packaging. And just like with the other release of this figure, or other releases of this figure, she looks great. She still looks really good. Again, same figure. Same figure we got previously, same articulation, same detail, same buckle. All same, same gauntlets, all that stuff, all right? Head is on a ball joint. Neck is on a ball joint in the torso. You still have those really good butterfly joints right here. You still have those fully articulated shoulders, single jointed elbows, wrist joints, waist, hips, upper thigh, single jointed knees, ankle joints, and that's pretty much it for articulation. Nothing new, nothing added. She comes with the same pair of lightsabers that she came with her Mandalorian release. Nice white blades there. Still have the removable blades, just like with the other release. And of course, you can still loop them 
on her belt, just like with the Mandalorian release. So you can have her displayed with her lightsabers on her belt, which looks very good. Real quick for comparison, here she is next to the regular Phase 4 Mandalorian release. And if there is any difference, I would say there is between the two figures, it seems like the orange plastic they used for her skin tone is a slightly darker orange on this one than it is on this one. Just my in-person eyeball glance at it, that it kind of looks like maybe it's slightly darker. Then again, that just could be the lighting in my office. I'm not quite sure. It, it also kind of looks like the blue paint on her headpiece might be just a little bit darker than the blue paint on this one. But again, that, that could just be the lighting. That could just be me really trying to find any difference between these two figure releases. But in, in my opinion, there really isn't any. At least even if those differences are actually there, even if the the blue is slightly darker even if the orange is slightly darker it's not a meaningful enough difference between the two figures so it, it is still essentially the same figure just in a different box and that's not a bad thing because there could be a lot of star wars fans like i said who just missed out on the phase four mando release or didn't want to pick her up with din jaren in the two pack or didn't want the credit collection version they wanted a good on-screen representation of their Rosario Dawson Ahsoka and this is a really good way to get another one so make sure you're checking Hasbro Pulse and other retailers for availability on this awesome figure right here. Guys thank you so much for tuning into today's review featuring the new Black Series Phase 4 number one Ahsoka Tano from the Ahsoka series portion of the Black Series Phase 4 packaging. I really dig this re-release like I said it's a good re-release of an already good figure. Thank you once again to Hasbro for sending us the Ahsoka promo box that this figure came in. Like and subscribe, follow us on social media so you don't miss the rest of the Ahsoka box content. And what do you think of the Ahsoka series? Do you love it or do you love it? I definitely love it. Like I said, like and subscribe, follow us on social media. Check the website daily for daily Star Wars toy related news and content on rebelscum.com. It's always something new every single day. But also, if you like non-Star Wars content, check out our sister website, CoolToyReview.com, and like and subscribe to the CoolToyReview.com YouTube channel and Bay 12 YouTube channel for all kinds of awesome non-Star Wars toy reviews and videos and more. And if you're looking for some other awesome Star Wars merch, toys, collectibles, and otherwise, check out Order 66 Toys, the nation's official all-Star Wars collectible toy store located in Order 66 Multiverse in the shops at Willowbin Mall in Plano, Texas. And in case you're not local to there, well, for over five years now, they've gone live every single Friday night from the Order 66 Toys Facebook page at 7 p.m. Central Time, again, every Friday, and they ship all around the world. And sign up for CollectorsOracle.com today, absolutely free. And don't forget to mark your Ahsoka in your collection. All the Ahsoka figures from Black Series Phase 4 are going to be on Collectors Oracle very, very soon, if they're not up there already, so you can mark them in your halves, once, catalog your pre-orders, whatever. It's all absolutely free. Sign up and start managing your collection like a pro. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. May the Force be with all of you you rebel scum.